Good evening and welcome to game week seven of the All Star Atlantic League. Um, got some good games coming up tonight. I've got some stories forming already. Um, just somebody let me know in the chat that they can hear me and everything looks good. And uh, Jens has asked to go early, so we'll do his game first, which is a top of the table clash in the Eastern Conference against St. Domingo, so that should be a good game. Uh, we've also got Drive Train. All good. Yeah, cheers, Duggan. Um, also got Drive Train, Memphis Reigns, and then Vikings, Domino, as I said, we'll start with that one. Then we've got El Loco Fire versus Dandies, uh, Pelham, Alcatraz, Des Moines, Short Pump, and then My Gators versus the Steam Pigs. Um, yep, so we will see... First of all, we'll start by having a look at the quick, quick look at the league. So the Eastern Conference, uh, San Domingo were absolutely running away with it and then lost the last one. So Vikings have caught them up, even though they played a game more. So that should be a good game in there tonight. Uh, Memphis Reigns still yet to get off the mark. They'll be looking for something tonight. Over to the Central, and it is Alcatraz, who are apps who are absolutely flying at the moment uh, with five wins out of their six games and one draw. Um, just reading your message, horse. What do you mean? Sorry. Reduce communication methods. Quiet tonight without WhatsApp. Um, still got the WhatsApp. Is there something wrong with it? No, not for me, mate. Don't think. Um, I sent a message uh, at ten to nine, and I've had people reply to it. Jens and Duggan. So, seems to be okay at the moment. Um, okay, in that case, we will get going for our first game. So, as I said, <laughs> millions, including me. All oh, right, okay, that's fine. No worries. All right, so our first game, and luckily that's where we go. So we go to the St. Domingo Bisons, who line up with a couple of changes um, after their uh, disappointing result, 4-1. I think if I remember the game rightly, though, they all came late on. Yeah, 59, 83, 90. So although they were beaten 4-1, they were in it for a long time time yeah take so straight in mate yeah so they line up uh casillas cordoba making his debut uh campbell mendieta but tomasi Giggs, zambrotta nicky ferenko rossini and pierre is starting up front after three appearances from the bench uh mendieta dear oh, okay like that I did look at that when it came through. Um, excellent. Just confirm you're okay with that. Is it somewhere left? Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. And they play against uh, Jens's Vikings, who line up, I think, with a few changes in there. Johnson goes back to centre back. Uh, Desai comes in at DMC, and I think the big talking point is uh, Donny, who has been excellent. He's dropped out of the sides, three goals in three appearances. It's Imar that takes his place with the arrow. Uh, Jens just want to confirm that's right, mate. Just want to make sure of that. I'm sure that's what you sent me the other day. Yes, it is. Yep. And we will get this first game kicked off. So, um, yeah. yeah. Looks like from remember correctly. Excellent. Yep. Good stuff. Surprised just to see him left out. And this is our first game of the evening. So let's get this one kicked off and see how we get on. As I said, top of the table clash here. Both sides in very good form. And we are underway and straight away. It's a chance for P. 
Pierre from St. Domingo. And it is Zambrotta that gets the goal after six minutes. Mendieta with the chance to Mickey Ferenko. But here come the Vikings, back the other way. Rossini with a chance. Dead A. And Vikings definitely coming back into it now after a slow start. But his gig's always dangerous. Tizalco, Tizalco scores to make it 1-1 here after 36 minutes. Rossini, though, he's had a few chances already. And we play quite a bit of extra time at the end of the first half. And there we go, we get to half time. And although it's in quite equal in the text, it's actually the Bisons that have uh, been having the more shots on goal and more on target. Um, tackles won 75% for the Bisons, decent. Uh, but the Vikings absolutely dominant in the air. Terrible that. No, not really, Jens. 1-1 no. <laughs> one, one at half time. Right, so we'll have a look over at the side. Uh, Zalco playing well, uh, but not much from Emerson, Saeed, Dede or Imar. Condition-wise, absolutely fine, everybody. Let's go back to your match ratings. Cannavaro on a six. Interesting. Uh, switch over to the Bisons. Uh, Casillas on a six, recall tonight as well. And uh, yeah, not having a great game. Uh, Cordoba on a six on his debut. Maybe expect a bit more from him. And we'll see you on a six as well. Although I think he had quite a few shots. Yeah, he did have three shots, none of them on target. That is why he is on a six. And Jens is saying, bring I'm a left to my high with an arrow and Emerson Central without an arrow, please, mate. Okay. So something like that. Or do you want the two AMCs straightened up? No. Okay. Like that, do you mean? No worries, please. So, yeah, like that. Yes, excellent. Yeah. No worries. We can do that. And we'll jump over to Bisons, who say, as is till 60, see if Rossini can do something to save himself. And we will carry on till 60. Is Imar getting more involved? Is so okay with a chance? And it is Roy Mackay after 52 minutes that makes it 2-1 to Vikings. And we get to 60 minutes. Casillas on a five. He's not doing himself any favours yet again. Also, Rossini dropped down to a five as well. Some changes coming here from Bisons, I should think. Condition-wise, all looks okay. Tony Pierre on a 86, maybe to worry about. Brian Giggs, 85, dropping down as well. Just while we wait for Bisons. Uh, oh, that is already there. Cotoba for Ronco. Yep. Ronaldo for Rossini. And oh, changing both strikers here. Cotoba. Okay, we're not if it's just seeing it. Yeah, excellent. And again, uh, played very well after the break. Might be keeping it the same as I think here. Roy McCoy on nine, doing very well. Saeed on an eight from defensive midfield. And SIE as well. That's a strong DMC line there. As is, please. Good luck. Yeah, excellent. Thank you very much, guys. 
keep back off, see if Bison's can get back in it. I'm out with a chance, and again, this is Alco with a chance. But it's Giggs coming the other way, Ronaldo with a shot. 75 played. Can we get an equaliser and go to golden goal extra time? Or are the Vikings going to finish it off? Ronaldo, the long range effort. And hits the woodwork and goes over, but it finishes 2 1 here. And pretty equal at the end, to be honest. Uh, Bison's had the best of the first half, but Vikings definitely come back into it. Still dominant in the air. And uh, very good performance, a very good win for the Vikings, that. And we jump from there over to the New York Dandies. Uh, no worry, Jens, no, no problem at all. Uh, who have a few injury worries already. Uh, both wing-backs injured, and Simkovic, who's just been brought in, is still waiting for his debut. Uh, they line up with uh, Klompe, Larson, Jeremies, Robin Ferguson, Patsulogu, Beckham, back to foe. And Paolo, to foe, interestingly, who has five goals and six appearances in the reserves. And he's getting his first start tonight. Look at Tony on the bench. Constantinou. Uh, injured as well. Only a few days for him. So some interesting changes from the Dandies. And they line up against El Loco Fire, who have made quite a few changes tonight and go with a narrow formation. Uh, Andre in goal, Rustico, Ferdinand, Ling Yung Pio, Lurski, Gerard, Van der Vaart, Hersey, Ray Island. Yax and Anelka. Um, that looks pretty good. I'm not sure about the narrow, but we'll see how it works. Seems it did alpha right in the Super League until the last few weeks. Could be an interesting one. At Torres on the bench. Eagle Tudor in there as well. This could be a, another decent game. So we're going to kick this one off. And it's an early chance for Robin and a good save. Fourteen minutes in, it's Beckham with the cross. So far, the Anelka with the chance. So far, the narrow seems to be working out. Palmero though with a chance. I haven't seen much attacking from El Loco. Back with a chance, probably should have scored. 30 minutes in, still nil-nil here. Beckham, Palmero offside. Yeah. Jeremy's, and it falls, and it is Barry Ferguson who gets the goal after 38 minutes. And we get to half-time here, do we? We've played a lot of extra time again. 51 minutes on the clock. And, yeah, Dandy's pretty much in control of that. Six shots and goal, five on target. We'll start by having a look at El Loco Fire and seeing what they want to do. Uh, an Elka on a six. Leo Hill on a six as well. Maybe a chance for Torres to come in. Hersey on a six as well. There's a couple of attackers need a bit more out of them. As for the Dandies, uh, Jermaine Defoe on six on his debut. Uh, Clumpe doing well on an eight. And we have our first change from Scott. Oh, we have two changes coming in from Scott. And now for Quebec. Yeah. Uh, oh, all three changes. Surinchinski for... Oh, and Hersey off as well. Where's Hersey on there? Uh, just check that now. Yeah, it was here in Chinsky. Uh, yeah, and Hersey 
off as well. Done. Excellent. We will go to 60 minutes. Three big changes at half time for our OK Fire. As for the dandies, uh, Defoe gets until half time. And it is Ledenev that comes on to replace him. And roll, he says. So we will go to 60. Uh, subs done. Yep. See if the changes can have any effect for the fire here. 50 minutes gone, though. Not a lot happening. But here comes the dandies again. Ledenev had his chance. And we get to 60 with not a lot happening. And we'll start with the dandies. Condition-wise, all okay here. Nothing to worry about. Uh, match ratings. Uh, Clompe still having a great game. Barry Ferguson up to an eight as well as captain. As it is from Duggan. Excellent. Thank you, mate. Uh, Scott. Uh, Andre having a good game in goal, proving again that perhaps he is right. Perhaps he is the best keeper on the game. Uh other than that, pretty average throughout. The sub's not having a lot of impact. Roll. Okay, excellent. So both of them going for it. And we'll play the last half an hour here. Can we get a bit more action? There was a chance for fire. Ferguson strikes. Another good save from Andre. If they get something out of this, he'll be the main reason for it. Gerard getting involved. Ledenev, and another good save from Andre. He's had a great game. Looks like he might be on the losing side, but he's had a very good game. Van der Vaart with a chance hits the post. Carlos Jackson haven't seen his name much. A chance right at the end for an equaliser. It never came through, and it finishes 1-0 to the Dandies. Uh, another pretty even game, more shots, one more shot on goal and three more on target from the dandies. Headers one, exactly the same. Tackles one, not much between it. And passes completed, not much between it. A yellow card each as well. That is a pretty level game. I just don't think El Loco could finish. Andre on an eight. Uh, had a very good game in goal. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, they will, yeah. You are right, Tato. They definitely will. Yeah, it was a decent game, that, even though it was only 1 0. Yen Jeremy's picking up man of the match with his nine, as he does so often. And we go over to Pelham. So we have Pelham Pumas versus Alcatraz here. Uh, last game out, they lost 1-0 to my very defensive Gators side. So, let's see if they can put something together today. And they go, uh, Vestval in goal, Hippia, Lassini, Petit, Vogel, Duff, Cole, Ronaldinho, Montella and Cliver. That front three should score goals, should absolutely score goals. Very good side. Uh, Michael Owen on the bench as well, if needed. They play against Alcatraz, who are running riot. Six played, 5-1. Only conceded twice as well. Uh, Victor Bayer, Maldini and Keown have all been excellent. And Dye in there as well. Davids as well. People saying he should be playing at central midfield, but he is playing very well where he is at the moment. And he has a goal and three assists as well. Candela, Emerson, Seedor, Farrell, Sand, and the much maligned, but still pretty impressive, Gabriel Batistuta up front. And Zaghi injured at the moment, Nedved injured. That is a decent side there. This should be another very, very good game. So we have Dimble versus Jamie in this one. And we will kick this one off. Not much happening in the first 10 minutes. We get to 10, nothing at all. 12. Cancelling each other out completely here. 19 minutes in, we get our first chance. Vestvalt makes the save. Here comes Pell on the other way. That's due to us had a couple of goes already. Hamilton with a chance. And we have a injury. 
It is Raul that has gone down injured after 34 minutes. Uh, it looks like Brozek to me, but it could be Perez. We'll wait and see what Hopkins wants to do here. I think I saw him earlier. Uh, did I? Yes, I did. So we'll wait and see what change he wants to make here. Uh, yep, yeah, excellent. That's a good change. Raul swap over with Sand as well. Excellent. And we will carry on. Ten minutes away from half time here. Batistuta with a chance. Vogel made the challenge. Seedorf with a chance. Ronaldinho. And there is Ronaldinho. We spoke about him at the start. And he has got the goal. Only the third that Alcatraz have conceded. But it, oh, the equaliser was coming from Sand, but he was ruled out for offside. Um, Alcatraz had the better of it there. Pelham just making it count, though. The two shots and goal, two on target. And if you've got Ronaldinho in there, you've always got a chance of a goal. Um, Sander Vestal on a nine, having a very good game as well. Emmanuel Petit on a nine as well. Patrick Clyde on an eight up front. That's interesting. Without a goal. Condition-wise, um, all good. Mike Duff, 85%, the only one slightly low, but I don't think Tim will be worried about that particularly. So while we wait for those, we'll switch over to Alcatraz. And Edgar Davids on an eight, having a decent game. Everybody else, Evening, yeah, even Dimble. Duff back to DMR with a long arrow. Yeah, I think I think you are right, Tao. I think that is the best eleven. Just while we wait for Hopkins, we will do uh, Duff back with a long arrow to there, or all the way to the top. I think you mean to there, so back to where he was. Just confirm that you're happy with that. I don't know if that's slightly more defensive or not there. Dimble, I can't tell, really. Just let me know you're happy. Yep, all good. Excellent. And we've got a change for Hopkins as well, who says Seedorf or Perez. Um, disappointed to see Seedorf go off. But Rob Perez comes on for him. And that looks good for me. So we will play till 60 here. As we kick off the second half. Cole with a chance. Cliver. Vogel. Seems to be all Pelham at the moment. Can they get a second? Vogel again. But here comes. And it is Batistuta after 55 minutes. Five out the other way there. We get to 60. Spot on 60. Sander Vestvald drops down to an 8 after conceding the goal. Emmanuel Petit still doing well on a 9. Ronaldinho on an 8. Uh, Condition-wise, Joe Cole on 81 now. We'll jump over to Alcatraz. Brett Emerton up to a 9. Very good defensive midfielder. Brett Edmonton, Edgar Davids on an eight still, and the goal from Max Tudor on an eight. Um, Alcatraz looking a bit better here. Looking at the stats, still having more of the game, but Pelham are just every shot they have on target at the moment. Let's give you a second to decide what you want to do. Mike Duff on the six is interesting. Perhaps Akahau won't move. As is for Hopkins. Akahau for Duff and pushing back. Yeah, that's what I think we were all expecting. To go back to how he was. And Hopkins is as is. So... With that in mind, we will finish this one off. 
Montella with a chance. They were better when they go Agahawa coming back as well. And it is Montella that gets the goal after 64 minutes. And Pelham lead 2-1. This really opens up this conference if it stays the same. Can Alcatraz get anything back? It seems to have gone a bit quiet. Aga Howell with another chance. Brozak, though, can he get an equaliser? Can they force extra time here? No, they can't. 2 1 Pelham. That is a big result for that conference. Massive. Pelham, very, very good in the end. Nine shots on goal, nine on target. Played a lot better with the two wingers. Uh, Alcatraz, unlucky, with seven shots on goal, six on target. Stats wise, um, Ronaldinho with a 10. Assists coming from Cliver and Joe Cole moved up to a nine. As for Alcatraz, a nine from Brett Emerton, who got his assist in there as well. That is, yeah, definitely. Needed that. Yeah, I think you're right, Jamie. Attacking injuries have cost you a bit there. Yeah. In big place. So we go over to Drive Train and Memphis Reigns, and almost perfect timing by Mike Savage. He steps in just as his game's about to kick off. So we go and Memphis Reigns uh, go in the same as last game. So the one at the back, Montero, Michelini, Gomez, and then we've got Arca, Simone, Ortega, Savio, Crespo, Vieri. And they go up against the Detroit drive train, who also have a few injuries already in the season. Del Vecchio out, Valgo suspended after he was sent off, and Scally still out as well. So they line up with Bartes, Nesta, and Iliano. That is a strong defence and keeper. Giancetto in front of them. Then we've got Figo, who's never happy, but is he happy at the moment? He's playing where he wants to be. No, he's still not happy. He wants to be transfer listed. Paul Skulls next to him, Lee Bowyer. Medivicchio on the right. And then it's Landon Donovan, Henri, and Zizi Roberts coming in for his first start. He has a goal, but it's his first start. That is Partez as captain as well. It's another strong side. And we will kick this one off. I quite like that Memphis Reigns away kit there. I like that. Savio with a chance. Corner and another chance. Montel with a chance. Playing well here at the moment. And it is. It is Diego Simone who gets the goal. And yes, Savage saying there, it looks like. And there's an injury to Nesta. That is a big, big injury at the back for the drive train. He looks like Chris Perry is going to be coming on for him. That is a huge loss. He's only just back here. He is, you're right. Second injury to Nesta already, yeah. Yeah, he, was, he started the season with a twisted knee. He's now got a twisted ankle. Well, he's got a twisted ankle, and I don't know what it is now. Perry, please. Figo will be available after this game. What's Figo up to? Well, he's on the six. Uh, so, Nesta for Perry. And we will carry this one on. Twisting shadow, yeah. I don't think there's a lot left to be twisted for him. Ortega. Memphis Reigns have been absolutely brilliant. But Figo with a chance and it went over. Henri with a chance. This is end to end at the moment. And it is now oh, fractionally offside to Henri. Thought he'd equalised. 
Savio with a chance, and we get to half time. That was end to end. That was a very good half. Although drivetrain seemed to be a lot more in it than the two shots on goal they had. Seven from Ray, who have been very good. We'll start by looking at them uh, with the old goalkeeper not at the top. Uh, Christian Vieri on an eight, Simone on an eight, and a booking and Michelini on an eight as well. That three defensive midfielders all going pretty well. I haven't seen Rock, so we will um, we will stick. You will have no complaints with that. As for drivetrain, quite a few sixes littered in there. Gene Cheddar, who's normally quite um, he's normally good, at least a seven, but on a six at the moment. Figo six. Uh, it's easy, Roberts six. Landon Donovan the six as well. It's a few pairs that could be perhaps said Monday might get a shout in the face of Donovan. Or will the mighty Jeff Whitley get a run out here? Have to wait and see what Mike decides. Mike says, as is, he's going for it, sticking with it. As I said, I haven't seen Rock, so. Yeah, 45 minutes away from their first win. I think it's that away kit. I think that's what's done it. I like that a lot. But here comes drivetrain. Started better this half. Crash by River Chance. 59 60 on the clock. Christian Vieri on the mate. And then that defensive midfield is all doing well. Yeah, we started at nine, mate. You haven't played yet, don't worry. It was in the WhatsApp, but I think um, uh, Mega Horse was saying earlier the WhatsApp's down for a lot of people at the moment. Uh, yep, Memphis Rangers, we're going to stay as is. There's nothing there to worry about. We'll nip over to Drivetrain. Uh, yep, a few sixes in there. Figo still on a six. Um, let's have a quick look at condition. Nothing really to worry about. Let's wait and see if you want to make any changes. Bowyer on a six as well. He's again another player you'd expect a bit more from with the booking as well. Perhaps he might be sacrificed. Donovan Fred Mundo. Rubbers for commentary. Yeah. They look like two decent switches to me. So we will finish this off. Can Memphis Reigns hold on for their first win of the season? Or will the changes from drivetrain make a difference? Ortega, Simone, Simone has been everywhere tonight. And it is, two, it is Julio Arca that makes it 2-0 to Memphis Reigns. What a result this will be. It's Figo though, coming back the other way, trying to prove his manager wrong. Savio as well goes close. Henri, this is a big win for Memphis Reigns. Well, on to the last few minutes here. Arco with a chance again. Figo, Figo getting more and more involved, but can't change it round. And it's five shots on goal from Drive Train 2 on target, 10 from Memphis Reigns, who were absolutely brilliant tonight, seven on target. And everything else are pretty even, to be fair. Start looking at Memphis Reigns. Um, Nicolini, very good, nine. And captain, that's what you want from him. Goal from Arca as well, from left wing. Excellent. And Simone, who was everywhere, stats-wise. Yeah. He's had a very, very good game in there. That's for drivetrain. 
Uh, the injury to Nesta certainly didn't help them. Other than that, it's pretty average everywhere. Paul Scholes having a decent game in there. 11 tackles in the central midfield. Interesting. As for the subs, only Edmundo got a shot away. So we move over to Gators. Gators and Steam Pigs is our, I think, our last game of the evening. We'll just check that. And uh, Gators, we do something slightly different tonight. Um, this is how I've wanted to play for a while, but never actually been able to. Um, so, yeah, trying to get Ron, Costa, Totti involved. And Maruso gets his first start as well. Uh, Matarazzi and Hoffman at the back. We have a big transfer coming up as well, if anybody's seen it. Uh, Ruud van Nistrooy, who was my number one striker pick, is on his way out. Uh, bringing in another defender for him. So it's an interesting move. The line a lot on Viduka, so we'll hope he get, doesn't get injured tonight. We are playing the Steam Pigs, who didn't start great but since then. The last three games have been absolutely brilliant. And the 4 1 demolition of the Bisons last time out was very good. I, Elbert, who has been very good as well, four goals in three games. Um, they line up. Frey and goal, Samuel Stam. Zieras, Contra, Raquel May, Nakata, Kuehl, Elbert, and Enpenza. This is another very good side here. Uh, the only change for him is Franca on the bench instead of the slightly injured Robbie Keane. And this should be a decent game. Slightly worried about this one. Uh, Steam Pigs have been very, very good. See what will happen in this. Good luck, Stu. And Maruso, the chance for Duke, fires it over. Here comes Steam Pigs the other way. Totty gets in the way, though. And there's an early booking. 22 minutes played. Not a lot happening now. Started strong and now died off a little. And it is Raquel May after 34 minutes that gets his first goal. And other than that, not a lot happening for Duca with a chance. And we're going to get to half time. And we do, and it's the Steam Pigs that lead 1-0 in a game where not a lot happened, to be honest, but um, be happy with that. Three shots and goal, three on target. Gators only having one shot. Very, very poor. We'll start by looking at the, I'll just show you the Steam Pigs quickly. And the Cata on the six, and Pence on the six, but Elbert on the six, but you will not mind that as you are one up. Condition-wise... Absolutely nothing to worry about. Should be pretty happy with that. Very strong at the back. Frey, Samuel, Stam. Uh, move over to my Gators. And, oh, wow, that is a lot of sixes. Roberto Carlos having a decent game. We are going to move the arrows up. And other than that, leave it as is. Or shall we do as Van Nistelrooy is on his way out, he's going to get a half just to see if he can put it right. As is to 60. Yeah, I think that's a good decision. Let's go to 60 here. Can Gators get back in it? Can they even create a chance? Kuehl coming the other way. Nothing happening at all. Need to be some changes here. And we get to 60, and there is nothing happening at all. What can we do here to make a difference? Uh, we're going to move some players around. See if we can get some shots at least. We're going to do something like that. As for the Steam Pigs, Sierra's having a great game there on a nine. Raquel May on a eight as well. Condition wise, everybody good for the Steam Pigs. I'm not sure he's going to want to make any changes here. Playing very well. Maybe Nakata for Takanadi if he wants to go slightly more defensive here. Might be the only thing he's thinking, unless he goes for it and goes Larson or Franca for Nakata and pushes them on one, which would be very brave at 1 0 up. Yeah, that's what we thought.
this will also be a big result for this conference as well. And we will resume the game. And it's Totti who makes it 1-1. Gator's looking a lot better since the changes. Totti involved again. Are we going to get our first draw of the evening? To call with a chance, misses it. Gators have been a lot better since the changes. Stupid formation to start with by me. A chance. Buffon makes the save. And we get to the end of 90 minutes and we get our first extra time of the evening. Uh, Gator's looking a lot better after the changes. Um, I'm not going to make any alterations to that. I am pretty happy Veron and Costa both on bookings. As for the steam pigs, uh, uh, Samuel on an eight in there. Ziera sort of dropped down to an eight. He was having a great game before that, up to 60 minutes. Uh, condition wise, uh, 83 from Elbert, 83 from Beckham, eight, but he should be fine. So I do have a look at the match stats. Yeah, Gators are a lot better after the changes. It's still not great, though, to be honest. Like a bit more out of them. Okay, let's look at the stats for Steam Pigs. See, so yeah, so there were 19 tackles. That is pretty impressive over 90 minutes. He's won 12 of them, but even so, that is pretty good. Let's wait and see if we made any changes. I've just thought we'd definitely got last one for M Penza, please, and that's it. Okay. It's all excellent. Right, let's see if we can get a golden goal winner here. Ben Nistro with a chance. Can he get a goal before he leaves us? Veron with a chance. Gator's doing a bit better. But here comes Larson the other way. Can he win it for him? No, we get to half time in extra time. And I think we said there was no changes at this point. And Gator's looking a bit better. So we will just kick off the last 15. Can we get a winner or are we going to get our first draw of the evening? It's a sending off. It is Rui Costa who is sent off here. Yeah. We're just going to move Totti across for the last four minutes. Um, changes available if you want after the sending off. We'll keep to that, even though it's in extra time. Let me know if you want to do anything. It's your chance for Franca for the last few. Still got the Sloths game to go as well. Matt. Yeah, excellent. It's only four minutes to go. Let's see if we can get a winner. And in fact, absolutely nothing happens and we end at a 1-1. Well played, mate. Um, I thought you had me for quite a bit of that. Totti saved us at the end. Uh, Ratings-wise, uh, Takor, okay. Without Carlos having a good game. Dio Gat having a good game. Totti doing okay. As for um, Steam Pigs... Uh, is the Ellis on a nine? Very good. Whole of that defensive line doing very well and defence as well. Um, yeah, it seemed pretty fair to me at the end, that one. Hopefully the red card won't cost us too much. And we move on to the short pump sloths, who are second currently in the Western Conference. Um, they line up with Oliver Kahn, Ayala, Anderson, McAuley, Gattuso, Z. Roberto, Kerr, Sammy Halovic, Deco, Rakova, and Shevchenko. The big changes in there for them. Uh, Roy King suspended, so McAuley came in for him, and D. Alessandro injured, so Rakova came in for him. And they play the Des Moines Demons. <laughs> yeah, you're right. 
when it's your team and you're like, it's not like you want to score, you just don't want to concede. <laughs> That's the thing with the extra time, you're like, just don't concede and don't mind about not scoring. So happy to take the point there. Um, Desmond and Demons we go over to. And they make a couple of changes in there. So we have Tolbert and Goal, Yepes, Taram, who is on his way out after this one. Uh, Boomer, Paredes, Dyer, Ambrosini, Vieira, Fiore, Johnny Halliday, and Freddie Canute up front, who possibly might be his um, last start if the transfer goes through when we finish this. Uh, again, that. That three across the defensive midfield, Boomer, Paredes, and Dyer. Very, very good. This should be another good one. This is both. This is the Western Conference again. Looking forward to this one. This is in our group after the draw between uh, me and the Steam Pigs. This is the other sides in this group. And Toldo with a chance. But here comes Shevchenko, corner kick, IR, cleared. Dyer with a chance, corner. Canute there as well, getting his name involved. 13 gone. And it goes wide, a big chance. This is end-to-end -end stuff here without a goal. 30 minutes in. Deco for the slots. Kerr coming back for the slots as well. And we get to half-time. That was pretty much end-to-end. -end. Short, short pump with six shots. All six on target. And passes completed, pretty similar. Tackles one, more for the sloth, and but more headers for Des Moyne. Uh, the, pretty good ratings in their Predators on an eight, Toldo on an eight. Just have to let you have a look at your condition. Yeah, no worries, Rob. We can do that, eight. Conditions, please. Yeah, sorry. Right. Nothing really to worry about. Johnny Halliday on 88, but that should be fine. Page 16, okay. Uh, as for the sloths, Rob is going for three up top, Cobra to the left. Shevchenko center and Smith in for Deco and to the right. Going for his famous three up top. Let's see how we get on after 60 here. Pray this with a chance. Not all happening again. We get to 60 minutes, like 61. Here comes. And. Yep, we get to 60 minutes. Uh, Catuso on a nine, doing very well, but also on a booking, while it's like why and Patrick Anderson on a six from centre back. That's interesting condition wise. Uh, again, nothing to worry about in there. Is there going to be a chance for David Trezeguet, perhaps? Maybe Rakoba. <laughs> um. <laughs> I don't know how he got. The comments from Rakova, that is pretty impressive. That is a very good or correct. Amazing. Trezeguet comes on anyway for Rakova. Uh, as for Des Moines, uh, Toldo on a nine, condition wise. Um, nothing too much to worry about. That, is, that might be one of my favourites I've seen, actually. <laughs> The fact that it, that is in your phone's um, vocabulary as well is a slight worry. Um, <laughs> see if we're going to have any changes from those minds. 
New Telfi Iron play on X and he is going for it. And play on excellent. So nil nil. See if we can get a goal in this one. 65 played. Your heart are nearly getting the goal. Fuel ready with a chance. And there is the goal. And is Vieira after 68 minutes. This would be a big win for the Demons, this. Can Short Pump get back in it? Can Desmond's get a second? No, they can't. We get to the final whistle and... I have to say, after the 60 minute marks, the Demons were very, very good. And it is 1 0 to the Demons over Short Pump here. Uh, Boom with a nine. Very good performance from him. Parados as well with a nine. It is that, it is that three across there that can be absolutely brilliant. Dyer as well. The um, Van Nistroy signing is going to be huge for them as well. He didn't do it for me, but I just got a feeling he's going to do it for Horse. Uh, as for Short Pump, all the calm, uh, doing well in goal, and Gattuso and, Zero, and the very good Roberto getting eights as well. Yeah, keen, massive miss for you there, mate. Definitely. Definitely. McAuley, six, yeah. Would have been a completely different game, considering Gattuso did very well in there as well. That takes us to the classifieds at the end of game week seven. Drive train nil, Memphis Reigns two. Memphis Reigns with their first win, and it was a very big performance. Um, Simone, good. Michelini, very good. Uh, Vikings two, Bisons one. A uh, bit of a second half, we're at 36-52 after the Bisons took an early lead in that one. That is a big result in the East as well. Yeah, more attacking without the three. Yep. Um, in the central, uh, El Loco Fire nil, Dandies one. Dandies with another win. And we had Pelham two, Alcatraz one, which hugely opens up that central conference, which we'll have a look at in a minute. Then we have the Demons one, the Sloths nil again, a big win for the Demons. And finally, the Gators and the Steam Pigs played out a 1 1. We will have a look at the conferences. So, Eastern Vikings now top it with 15. They have played a game more, though. Uh, okay, yeah, I'll do the save for you in a second. Uh, Vikings on 15, uh, the Bisons on 12, then it's Drivetrain on 10, and Memphis Reigns on now 3 with their first win of the evening. Uh, yeah, okay, Savage, I'll work that one out as well. Uh, Central wise, Alcatraz running away on 16 points after their seven games. Pelham now up to 10 in second. Then it's the Dandies on six with the two wins last time out and El Loco Fire on the one point. We move to the Western Conference, which is very tight now. Uh, Gators on 13, Des Moines uh, Demons on 12, uh, Steam Pigs on 10 and the Sloths on nine. Uh, we said at the start that's going to be a tight group and it is definitely looking that way. Uh, we'll have a look at the player stats while we're here. And average rain wise, the Ellis. In the Steam Pigs, it's 8 3 3. He has been good. Candela, Gomez, Tomasi, Kieran Dyer, all having a great start. Goals wise, it is Sizalko on six, Shevchenko on four, but I think they all came in the first two games. Then we have Mackay on four, Elba on four. Uh, Christian Donny, who didn't get a game tonight, on three. Um, assist wise, it is Dede with four assists. And we will look at team goals, the Vikings on 17 and the Pythons on 15. Very good. Pass completion, drivetrain, first top two in both of those. Then we have a Vikings player, Stefan Honcho, who is on his way, apparently, by the looks of this. And tackles, Sierras, 9.3 and Jeremy's 9.1. All doing well in there. Dribbles game. Gigs topping out, as you'd expect. Dyer as well. Candela. And Rui Costa down there after his sending off tonight. Shots on target. Shevchenko of 81%. 
Mark Viduka in there on 70. Uh, and we get to the average ratings. Excellent. Uh, thank you all for joining me tonight. Yep, so I will save it. I'll put the save up so you can do the stats, horse. I will then do the transfers, and then, Savage, I will let you know how long Nesta is out for. Um, I'll put this, I'll send the save over to you, horse, when I've done it. I'll stick it in the one that we share, and then I'll progress it on and put it available for everybody else. Um, thank you all for joining me tonight. There's some good games in there, and it's getting to be a very tight, interesting league in there. We will be back, I think, it will depend on what the Super League's doing, but we'll be back next Wednesday, definitely. Uh, thanks a lot for joining me. Good night.